everyone and welcome to our video tutorial for this row of hearts cat scarf that you can see Melba wearing here. So I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you soon. Thanks. Bye. Good girl. Thanks Melba. Such a good girl. Okay, so to make this row of hearts infinity scarf, you'll need some yarn. Now you'll need at least two colours, one for the background of your scarf and one for the heart part of the scarf. Now I'm actually going to offer you a multicolour version. So these three are going to be used in the background of my scarf. They're all an acrylic cotton blend in a two weight. And this one here is also a cotton acrylic blend, but it's a three weight, and I'm going to use that for the hearts. Now, the reason why I'm using a, I'm purposely using a slightly um, higher weight yarn for the hearts is because I want that sort of popping out effect, okay? And if you use the background a slightly lower weight and the hearts a slightly higher weight, you'll get that kind of pop out effect for the hearts, which is what I'm going for. You might not want that effect, in which case you would just use yarns of, um, you know, similar weight. So what I want to say before I go any further is that I'm going to be offering variations throughout this tutorial. And for that reason, I'm going to say that it's probably not the tutorial to start with if you're an absolute beginner, okay? It just might get a little bit confusing with the variations that I'm offering throughout. Okay, it's best to have a little bit of experience under your belt for this one. Okay, so that's the yarn. Now, from there you'll need a crochet hook that corresponds to your yarns, or yarn or yarns. Um, I'm using 25 millimeter today. You'll need some scissors to snip your ends, a darning needle to weave in your ends, and an optional tape measure to take a measurement of your cat's neck circumference. As always, I'll include a guide, just a guide to standard cat sizes in the description box below, so you can use that. It's always best if you have a, an idea of what your cat's neck circumference is, if you can possibly get it. So, tape measure for that. And uh, you may need to use your tape measure to, to um, just measure the dimensions of your scarf as you move through the tutorial. So let's move on to the techniques you'll need. Okay, so here are three variations of this scarf. So as I said, I'm going to give you variations throughout. Now, these two are very similar. Okay, the only difference being that I've... Um, for the one that I'm filming this one today, this for this one I've used different colours in the background and for this one I've used different colours in the hearts. Okay, so this one's a, a wool winter project wool blend and this is a cotton blend summer project. So um, you can make what I'm making today, which is this one, this type of thing here. Um, this one what I've done with the one I'm making today is I'm not including the single crochet right at the end here just because it it uh, makes this the top end a little bit the top edge a little bit wider than the bottom and I just want to make that a little bit more symmetrical so this is what I've done today okay so I've just skipped that last single crochet row here after the last row of hearts and I've just gone straight to working my border so um, yeah for these two yeah like I said very similar this one here is slightly different so I haven't included the single crochet rows and I haven't included the single crochet border that these two have okay this one here is um, yeah I've made the hearts narrow like the distance between the hearts narrower and I've also made the distance, so this way I've made it narrower, and also this way. And I'm going to show you how you can do that. The other difference with this one is that I've staggered the hearts in the rows. And this one, they're just, um, they drift slightly, but they're all kind of stacked upon each other the, um, in the rows. So yeah, same for this one, they're just kind of stacked above each other. So I'll show you how, I'm not doing this today, but I'll show you how you can stagger these hearts if you want to, okay? And so for all of them, in whatever variation you're choosing, you'll need to know how to make a slip knot, how to create a chain, how to double crochet, 
how to double crochet three together which is these clusters here and I'll show you the, how to do that um, you'll need to know how to half double crochet and for these two here I've added in some single crochets okay so it just makes the distance between my hearts a little bit wider and yeah so the scarf is a little bit the whole scarf is a little bit wider so you get to make all those creative decisions and this is why I've said that this you know this tutorial probably isn't the best one if you're an absolute beginner because you, you just have to work out which variation you would like to uh, to use now it, just to go back to the stitches these sti this stitch um, all together is known as the heart stitch Okay, so if you need to look up, if I, my instructions aren't as clear as you would like them to be, you can look up um, other video tutorials for the heart stitch, and you'll you'll find um, instructions there. So, um, yeah, so make a decision, some creative decisions about what yarns you're using and and how you want your scarf to look, how wide you want it to be, etc. How many rows of hearts? Um, all of these I've used three rows of hearts but you know you can add as many rows of hearts as you like and you could just have one you could just have two obviously you'll be limited by the width of or you know the height of the scarf but you know you can you know lots of different um, creative decisions are possible in this one so that's why I love it so let's get started okay now take whichever color you've deemed as your color one and you'll make a slip knot onto your hook. Now before we get started um, I was mentioning before that you can decide how far apart you want these hearts to be as well as how far apart you want them to be you know top to bottom. Now with your foundation chain this one here has the hearts closer together and this one here has them slightly further apart okay this one here if you want the hearts closer together you'll chain in multiples of five okay to your cat's neck circumference this one here if you want the hearts to be a little bit further apart you'll chain in multiples of six okay so you you decide that today I'm going to go with a similar pattern as this one here so I'm going to chain in multiples of six Okay, so any multiple of six to your cat's neck circumference. Okay, so just bear in mind that you'll be chaining the. So this is just half the half the length, half the width. Well, yeah, half the length. And so for Melba's neck circumference, hers is about 23, 24 centimeters. So I'm going to chain this one here I've made slightly bigger. I'm going to chain up to around sort of 27, 28 centimeters for Melba. So you'll take your cat's neck circumference and add a little bit extra. You'll add, um, you know, you might add around three to five centimeters if you don't want it to be too loose. And if you want it to be looser, you could add, add more than that. You know, that's entirely up to you how you want this to sit. If you want it to sit a little bit further down the chest, add a little bit more. If you want it to be a bit more tight around the neck, add a little bit less. So this one here from Elba, and you'll see um, in the photos, this one fits quite a lot more tightly. And this one fits more loosely. Okay, so you get to decide how you want that to go. So, and then you'll, you know, according to the multiple that you're using, you'll chain to that length in a multiple of either five or six so one two three four five six so I'm going to go ahead and make that chain mine just to remind you is multiple of six you may be multiples of five and then you'll go to your cat's neck circumference okay so I'm at about 28 centimeters there and for me with my yarn and my hook size I'm at 66 chains so, um, you know, yours will more than likely be different to mine. But as long as you've got a multiple of either five or six, as, you know, as mentioned before, and you've got the, the, your cat's neck circumference, plus a little bit extra, depending on how you want it to fit. Okay. So now we're just going to slip stitch to make a loop. So slip stitch in that first stitch and just make sure that your chain is not at all twisted 
So in that very first stitch you'll make a slip stitch. And then for your first row, now like I said before, just to show you my two variations here, this one here, which is my hearts are closer together. Oh, I keep knocking my table. Forgive me. Okay, so this one here, the um, I've, my first row is double crochets. Okay, so I haven't done a single crochet border like I did on this one. Okay, you get to decide that. You can go straight into the pattern or you can add a single crochet here at this point, a single crochet row as a border to your scarf, which is what I'm going to do. Okay, I'm going to add my crochet, my single crochet border here. So my first row is going to be single crochets. For you, you might go straight into the pattern and your first row might be double crochets. I'll put on the, um, on the video where to skip forward to if you're not doing that first row of single crochet. Okay, now you'll chain one and then you'll work back into underneath that chain okay so we need that stitch because that's in our multiple of six so one single crochet underneath the chain and then you're going to place a single crochet in each stitch or each chain I beg your pardon until the end of this first round now you've got the option just to work into the front of the chain so you've got your two V's and you can work into the front of your chain or you can flip your chain over and work into these what I call third loops in the back here okay that's entirely up to you depending on you know for me if you work into these these third loops here in the back you've got a, a slightly more symmetrical look to your scarf because let me just show you when you get to the top you'll finish with your stitches and at the bottom which I didn't do it actually in the this one here I just worked into the front of the chain you'll you'll get a similar look okay if you do work into that third that third uh, third loop in your chain but you know it's not a big deal either way just depends you know on those finishing details oh it's uh, just single crochet so it just depends on the the finishing details that you you uh, prefer and if it's easier for you just to work into the front of the chain it's you know it's definitely no big deal but this will just give you a slightly more symmetrical look to your scarf so I'm going to do that today I'm going to work one single crochet in that third loop and with this yarn it's just going to be slightly tricky but I think it'll be worth it at the end I'm just going to work one single crochet in that third loop in the back of the chain until I get around to the beginning of my of my first round okay now if you're doing double crochet you'll do the same but like I said um, I'll put a you know hopefully you've skipped forward by now if you're doing double crochet straight into double crochet so and you've got the same options okay so I'll uh, I'll finish off this round and, and you do the same your one single crochet in each chain to the end of your first round and I'll see you shortly okay I'm at the end of my round one now especially if you're working into that uh, the third loop of your chain it's quite easy to miss that last one so just last chain so just make sure that you have got all your chains and if at any point you need to just count your stitches and make sure you've still got your multiple of either five or six now to finish off this uh, first round you will just slip stitch into the first stitch now the chain never counts in this uh, pattern so you'll just slip stitch into the first stitch okay and that's round one now we're moving on to round two so chain two and again that doesn't count as a stitch so you need to work back underneath the chain okay into that very first stitch and then you'll just place one double crochet in each stitch all the way to the end of this round okay so double crochet that's in US terminology yarn over insert your hook pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two okay so 
moving around one in each stitch one double crochet in each stitch and again a reminder you if you're not sure about your stitch count make sure that you're, you've counted them and that you've still got your multiple of either five or six so I'll see you at the end of round two okay I'm at the end of my row two there my round two now we're going to slip stitch to join but we're going to change color because we're creating our hearts here so just ignore that chain and insert your hook into that first stitch and then we're going to pull up a loop with our new color with our heart color so for me it's white whatever it is for you and you'll just finish your slip stitch with your new color okay and just pull your ends nice and tight now you've got an option here you can snip off your first color um, or you can carry it through at the back so it's entirely up to you what I tend to prefer to do is um, tie it tie off here and uh, you know yeah weave in my my uh, ends at the end but you can just carry your color up to the next time we'll need this color you don't need to snip it off here if you don't want to okay so just chain one here and once again just tighten your your tails you just want that color change to be as seamless as possible and now we're going to start our um, little clusters of double crochet now for this first one we're making just half a heart okay so you'll yarn over insert your hook back underneath the chain so in that very first stitch yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and stop yarn over insert your hook back into that same space pull up a loop yarn over pull through two and stop yarn over do the same again so we're just doing half of a double crochet and then once we've got our four four chains four loops on our hook we're just going to yarn over and pull through all four okay and that's half a heart and that's where we're stopping for this first heart for this first one okay and once again you might just want to pull those tail ends tight again just to make sure that color see how that makes that color change quite seamless when it's nice and tight in there okay now we're going this is where you might alter a little bit too it'll depend on the exact yarn you're using and how far apart your hearts are now my hearts are going to be six apart so I'm going to count one two three four five and I'll be working into that sixth stitch okay now to get there I'm going to chain three now if your hearts are only five stitches apart you'll count one two three four and work into the fifth chain and you'll probably only need to chain two unless your yarn is quite quite fine okay so you you can either chain two or three there depending on what you need so one two three four five and in that sixth stitch I'm going to work my little cluster of double crochets okay so I'll yarn over pull through oops pull through two and then I'll work that twice more those half of a double crochet until I get just four loops on my hook and then I'll yarn over pull through all four okay now I'll chain two so everyone will chain two here and I've got a little split I think I can just poke down there let's do that chain two here and then we're going to work back into that same space doing the same thing again okay and this will help to create our heart so pull up a loop pull through two and that's two and three so each time we're doing this three times and we'll have four loops on our hook and we'll pull through okay so that's that's going to be a heart this is just a half a heart now chain your either two or three whatever is working for you so you can get across to the next um, the, ne the, the sixth stitch now just always remember to count that stitch right next to okay because it, it can be it can be get a bit hidden underneath here so make sure you're counting that one one two three four five and six for me might be five for you and do your once again your same 
set of clusters, so two clusters of double crochet three together. And pull through, chain two, and then another cluster back in that same space. Okay, so you'll continue to work that all the way around until you get to the end of your round. So I'm going to do that and I'll meet you back here and we'll work the second half of that, of that uh, heart together. Okay, so work your way all the way around, re just repeating this same pattern all the way around until you get around here and I'll meet you there. Okay, so I've finished my last heart there and I've got my five left and then I'm just going to finish off the second half of my starting heart. So you'll work into that same space as where you started and finish off the other half of that heart. And pull through all four and then you'll chain your two and then you're going to slip stitch into that double crochet three together that first one okay but of course you're going to change your color here again so either you can just pull up your last color or if you've if you've tied off and cut off down here um, in the previous row you you do you'll just reattach your new color okay I'm just going to work it in although I prefer to I probably should tie off and work it in because it just gives you a better let me let me go back and do that it gives you it gives you a better color change because it allows you to pull on the ends okay if you if you don't cut off so I'm just gonna tie off you you can do whatever you want here so I'm just gonna cut those two tail ends I'll just cut my first one a little bit shorter as well so yeah I'm gonna I'm going I'm, I'm just tied off that last last row end or last round end and I'm actually going, just going to rejoin my yarn okay you can do it whichever way you want okay you can just carry the yarn through if you want to but for me for the more seamless color change you need to have a tail to pull on oops let's try that again just keep that yarn to the back put my new tail over and slip stitch so I want that tail to be able to pull on and then I'm going to pull on my white tail and my red tail again just make sure that's nice and tight so now we're going to just chain one and what we're going to be doing I'll just show you where we're working now so we're working in between the the hearts here so this is this will help to create our heart shape and across the top of the heart so in between and across the the top so what you'll do is you'll work back into that the center of that first heart with your yarn and make a single crochet so once again just pause to pull those those tails tight and see you can see here if you don't have if you have if you've carried your yarn through it's harder to to tighten that that yarn okay but what we're going to do is yeah place a single crochet in that in between the center of the heart actually what I need to do is just pull that first that first loop a little bit tighter as well and now I'm going to go back into that heart and just work to the left or sorry to the right of the of the chain okay so your chain will just kind of melt into this side here okay and then we're going to start to move across okay so we're going we're going to chain either chain two or three here now you'll work out how much you need for me I think I'm going to chain three okay and then we're going to work into these center stitches so yeah just sorry just go back to that chain you can chain just two if you don't need the extra length but because I've got really fine yarn I'm going to cha chain that extra one okay so these are the variations oh I'm unstable on my <laughs> on my camera again apologies okay so what we're going to do is work in between so these stitches in the previous row we're going to skip the first one now if you skipped 
uh, four stitches only, you'll just have two in the center to work in. If you've skipped six, six stitches, you'll have three in the center to work in. So we're not working in the stitches either side of the heart. Okay, so we're going to work half double crochets. Okay, so working into that, so skip that one that's right next to the heart, and then you're working in the center three. Okay, if you've skipped, if you've skipped, uh, skipped five or skipped four, you'll be working in the center. Sorry, let's just make that clear. So if you've, if you skipped, if you skipped four, you'll be working in the center two stitches. If you skipped five, you'll be working in the center three stitches. So hopefully that makes sense. So I've worked in the two. So I've got one more there. There's the one right next to the heart. So I'm not working in that one, but I've got one more here that I need to work in because I'm skipping five. I'm working into the center three. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. My apologies if I've not explained that super well. But let's let's move on and do a couple more so it's a little bit more clear. So chain your two or three, whatever you're doing. I'm going to chain three. And then you'll work your single crochet in the center of this heart as well. Okay, single crochet. One, two, three. Now we're back here. So you'll either have two stitches in the center here to work into or three. So I've got three. So I'll skip that first one right next to the heart and then I'm working my half double crochets into that next stitch and then the next one. And if you've skipped four you'll just keep working the two but I've got one more because I skipped five and half double crochet. Oops. And one more. There we go. Okay, so what you can see that that does, and it's a good idea to pull those relatively tight, is it kind of um, squishes your, your what's your equivalent of your white area, into a heart shape. Okay. And then you'll continue along. You'll do the same. So one, two, and three for me. And then I'm going to put my single crochet in the top of the heart there. Chain three. And then I'm working my three half double crochets in those center stitches. Oops. It's a little bit fiddly. Because you kind of have to work a big half double crochet. Now, if you're not using yarn that's different in weight, so going back to talking about the yarn weight, so remember um, I'm using a yarn weight that is the white, the heart, is quite a bit thicker than my base weight, which is what I've recommended that you do. Okay, now sometimes if your yarn weights are not that different, you might want to do just a single crochet here. Okay, so what that will do, if your yarn weights aren't that different, it'll help to pull it, pull it down a little bit more and shape your hearts better. And again, I hope that makes sense. For me, because my yarn weights are quite different, I need to do half double crochets here because I just need that little bit of extra height. But you can experiment, okay? So let's just go one, two, three. So your single, it's always single crochet in the top there, no matter what, okay? And then I'll chain my three down this other side. And then, so if your yarn weights are not that different, so your hearts are, are not much bigger than your main stitches, single crochets might work better in here, okay, to pull it down more. But because my yarn weights are quite different, half double crochets are where it's at for me, okay? So... Once again, that's another reason why this, this pattern is not for super beginners because you, you kind of need just a little bit of experience with yarns and stitches and stuff to, to know where you're at with this one. Okay. So, of course, you're just going to continue all the way around creating your, your heart shapes and you can, you'll pop them all forward at the end. They'll start to sit back, but you can pop them all forward at the end. But just work, work around this... this uh, 
next round doing your single crochets in the top of each heart your chain and then working your either two or three either single crochet or half double crochets in between those hearts okay so I know that it's a little bit confusing but I hope that I've explained that well and I hope that the written instructions that are on the video will um, will clarify anything as always if you've got any questions please put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to help you out anyway continue on with this round and I'll meet you when we get round to the end of this round actually I just realized I've got this one to show you so you can see here that I've only got two stitches in between the hearts here because these were the hearts that were closer together okay and then on this one and the one that I'm making now I've got three stitches in the center there okay so I'm back round at the beginning of the round and I'm just going to chain my three and then I'm slip stitching into that first single crochet and I'm going to maintain this red color for one more round now here's where you start to decide how you want like how far apart you want your hearts to be in uh, from top to bottom okay and how wide eventually your scarf is going to be so for me I'm working three colors so I'm going to have a wider scarf like this one now of course you could stop at just two two rows of hearts or you can go for three you could have more and you can have them closer together you can have them further apart it's um, entirely up to you so now what so I want one that's kind of similar to this so I'm going to make it exactly the same way now I'm going to do a row of single crochets next but again as for the bottom you can go straight to the double crochets um, that's just a creative decision for you to make okay so depending like I said how wide you want your scarf to be so you can see on this one I've gone from that row where I've created my hearts so you can see those little single crochets on the top there I've gone straight into a double crochet and then I'll be back to a heart round so what it does is it makes my hearts quite close together okay so from top to bottom so I want mine to be a little bit further apart but not too much further apart because I don't want my you know scarf to be super wide so I don't want it super wide this way okay so I'm going to go similar to this but like I said at the beginning I'm going to actually eventually when I get there I'm going to skip that last that last single crochet round but we'll talk about that later so now I'm going to do a single crochet row and you might be doing just going straight to a double crochet row that's up to you so I'm going to chain one now you want to work your first stitch your first single crochet back into that single crochet in between the heart and then you'll work a single crochet in the chain space and then one single crochet in each of your double uh, half double crochets from the previous row so for me it's three for you it might be only two one two and three and then one in the chain space one single crochet above the single crochet from the previous row in the center of the heart one single crochet in your chain space and then one single crochet in each of your half double crochets or they might be single crochets but whatever those those stitches that are between the hearts one in each of those and then again so in each chain space just one single crochet above the single crochet in the center of the heart one single crochet and then your single crochets in those two or three stitches in the center okay so finish off this round do your do your single crochets in each stitch and then we're going to move on to our next round which will be a double crochet round now for me it will be where I change my color okay because I'm going to create my rainbow of colors um, underneath in the background I'm going to change color to my next color at the end of this round okay so um, yeah so continue on wherever you're at and I'll meet you at the end of this round and I'll show you what I'm doing to change color but it's pretty much just the same process and then once I've changed my color I'll move on to my double crochet round 
Okay, so I'll see you soon. Okay, so I'm at the end of this single crochet round and as I said I'm going to change colour so I'll just slip stitch into that first single crochet as before and I'll change my colour and I'll snip off my red here I'm done with that one and I've snipped off my white and so I'm continuing on now with my yellow, okay, which is just me. You might be, and you know, you might not be doing this rainbow effect. I, I want to, um, yeah, just experiment with making a rainbow version of this um, within the background. So I'm going to change color. Now, obviously in this one, I didn't change color until I changed for my hearts. And for this one, I just used the same colors throughout. So um, yeah, you don't, you definitely don't have to do what I'm doing here. Lots of leeway for your creativity on this one. Okay, so I've changed two. And then of course, I'm going to work back under that chain and that st stitch that I slip stitched into and work my double crochet. So this is going to be my double crochet round and basically from here you might be able to tell we're just going to repeat this section here okay until you get to the height that you want. Now I will come back when we get to these hearts and I'll, I'll show you if you want to if you want to have your hearts kind of staggered like I did in this one what you will do actually we'll talk about it once we get to the the next heart area yeah let's talk about it then I think that's going to be better but so now for now you'll place one double crochet in each stitch all the way around so one in each of your single crochets if you did that single crochet round you may not have if you didn't, this double crochet round will be the same as that previous single crochet round. Okay, so it'll be um, one in each, one in each chain space, one in each central stitch, one in each chain space. Let's just show you in this one. Um, so you can see I've gone straight from there to my double crochet. So I've just done what I did with these single crochet round. I've did the same with my double crochet round. Okay, so. But now for me, because I chose to insert that little single crochet round, I'm going to just place one double crochet in each stitch all the way around. And then I'm going to be back to my heart, next heart, heart row, okay? So I'll meet you when I get around to the start of this heart row and we'll, start, we'll talk about how to stagger the hearts if you want to. I'm not going to stagger today on this one because there's enough going on with the color, different colors and stuff. But when you, you know, make it with just two colors, I think it looks kind of cool to, to stagger them. And especially with the hearts close together like this, I think it kind of looks cool to stagger them a little bit. So I'll show you how I did that. But anyway, finish off this next round and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I'm at the end of this round. Now, if you are not staggering your hearts, so if you're just doing what I'm going to do, you'll just change your color back to the white as we've been doing. Okay, so you'll just change back to the white or, you know, whatever is your color for your hearts. And if you're, if you're doing a version like this one, you'll change, you know, you'll change to your next color of hearts. Okay, so um, yeah, you'll do that. If you if you're want to stagger your hearts, you'll just slip stitch here and yarn over and pull through, tie off. I'm not going to do that because I don't want to. Um, yeah, I don't need to. But if you do it, if you want to stagger your hearts, you'll just yarn over, pull through, and and snip off your end. And then if you want to um, stagger your hearts, you'll just tie on again in between. Okay, so. Um, in one of these stitches here so in between these hearts in the previous previous uh, you know row of hearts you'll just tie on to one of these here and the way I do that is I just insert my hook and I pull up a loop and I'll chain my one and then I'll start working my clusters back into that same stitch Okay, in exactly the same way as you worked these ones. So the first one will just be a half. 
and then you'll you know you'll skip your stitches work your next one and your next one will fall in between these two and you know and so on okay but I'm not doing that today so I'm not going to do that but that's how you would stagger them okay so it's it's easy to stagger and then I'm going to because I'm not staggering I'm going to change my color and from here we're just it's just repeating those previous previous sections okay so I'll just tighten all of those again and then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat this same row to create my next row of hearts and uh, yeah and then I'm going to do my round in between then I'm going to do my single crochet in my yellow and I'm going to change to my blue okay and then you can, you know, you can stop wherever you want to stop. If you want to stop with just two rows of hearts, you stop with just two rows of hearts. If you want to go long, you know, wider, you go wider. So I'm going to continue on now. You've got the, the fundamental elements here. So you'll just be repeating, um, you know, this section, however many times you want to repeat it. Changing color or not changing color. It's entirely up to you. You know, you can, yeah. Yeah, so you've got all of these different these different kind of options. So I'm going to mimic this one, and I'll come back to you once I've finished my last row of hearts. I'm going to come back to you, and I'm just going to remind you not to do this this row of single crochet here unless you want to, of course. But for me, see how it just makes this area at the top here just a little bit too wide compared to the bottom. I just want to skip that last single crochet round and I'm just going straight to a double crochet round and then single crochet on top okay that will be my blue where I'll be finishing so yeah you just keep going for however many rows of hearts that you want and if you're um, staggering you'll you'll do the same thing you'll tie off and then you'll tie on back see let's see if I can find my join area it's a good sign if I can't find my join I is it here yeah, it's here. So then you'll just um, tie off again and and uh, tie on back in line with your first your first your first row of hearts. Okay, and uh, yeah. So I'm going to continue on and I'm going to leave you to do the same. And I'll meet you when I'm at the end of my third row of hearts. Okay, so I've finished my third row of hearts there, and so. If I was um, following the exact same pattern as I have in the last two colors, I would be doing a single crochet row here. But as previously mentioned, I'm going to go straight to my double crochet row just to avoid this kind of slightly asymmetrical. See, see I've put the single crochet row in this one and then done my double crochet row and then my single crochet border. But I'm going to skip that central single crochet or that, you know, that single crochet there directly above the hearts I'm going to go straight to my double crochet okay so um, yeah you'll work out how you want that to look but I'm just going to go straight to my double crochet and then I'm going to do a single crochet round for my border so I'm going to finish off those last two rounds and you go ahead and do the same and I'll meet you at the end and then we'll you know we'll just talk about tidying up all these all these loose ends in here so see you soon okay so I'm just putting in my last single crochet in my cro single crochet border and then I'm just going to slip stitch to join and yarn over and tie off so I'll just snip off that end now of course we've got all these these uh, tails to deal with so you may have chosen to um, just carry your yarn through, whereby you can just leave, you know, all your ends at the back there. But I, because I want my color changes to be really seamless, I have, um, I've, you know, tied off as we talked about before. So I'm going to just pull these. Now, what I tend to do with the the two that are, you know, together is I will just check that I've got a nice color change there at the front and then I'll just tie a simple double knot 
in any that are that are sort of together that I can um, you know secure a little bit further so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then of course you'll just weave in if you've got lots of tails like me you'll just weave in you know each color into its corresponding color now let's just do one on camera just in case you're not completely familiar with weaving in, in ends but I'm going to kind of assume that you are so just I'm in the back here obviously of my work and I'm just going to weave down into the back of the work here and double crochets tend to be the easiest to weave into so I'm just going to go down into that row and weave down along I like to go along the top of the of the stitches like so and just check you've got your top how you want it to be and then you can double back either once or twice just to secure your end a little bit more but you just want to neatly weave those into the back now if it's not super neat it's not a big deal because you know this is the back it's not going to be seen so there you go just be careful not to pull your your tail too tight so you don't miss shape and then you'll just snip off any excess so I'm going to go ahead and weave in all my tail ends and then we'll come back and we'll finish off together okay so I've woven in all of my ends there you can see that's really neat that's my back that's my back side though so I'm going to turn that inside the right way and there you have it that way so you can pop forward all of your hearts so that's sort of um, you know a slightly 3d effect and how cute is that I think that's really beautiful so I love this rainbow effect it's it's gorgeous but let's um, put it next to our other ones and so you've got all these different variations and of course you could you know you could use a chunkier yarn and make you know just one row of hearts it's you know lots of options with creativity here so I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial I've really enjoyed bringing it to you I've um, I actually had quite a bit of fun just experimenting with you know different different variations on this tutorial so I hope you've enjoyed it um, please like share and subscribe I really appreciate if you can you know share my videos with a wider audience if you appreciate what we're doing and uh, as always I would love to see your photos so uh, please send those along to catventurous.community at gmail.com or you can tag us on social media at catventurous.crochet so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it and we hope to see you soon. Bye. What are you going for there? Ready? Good girl. Let's do just one more. One more. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. So I hope you enjoy it. Please like, share and subscribe and we hope to see you soon. <laughs> That's it. That's what we get today.